Hi, I'm Simon from Britican, and today I'm going to show you what Britican does if a man goes overboard. We've tried different techniques, and this is our favourite, and this is called the heave to and drift. What happens is the wind is blowing in this direction, we are sailing really close to the wind, so the sails are nice in and tight, and I fall off. I fall overboard. The crew then points to the casualty, me, and shouts man overboard. We hit the button to put the man overboard on our GPS screen and also we throw over the horseshoes and the dam boy. And the dam boy is nice and high and it sticks up about 8 feet so it's really easy for to see. Then the helmsman puts the boat immediately into a beam reach so that means that the wind is coming in on the side. We keep the sails in nice and tight. Oh. At this point we're throwing stuff over and what happens is two boat lengths later we then crash tack which then means we put the nose through the wind as we do that the sails will back onto themselves and this is called the heave to and what that will do it will stop the boat as we do that the engines will have been started the wind is pushing us back towards the casualty if we need to go a little bit forward the helmsman can push it a little bit forward if we're drifting too far this way they can go backwards and forwards so we come to the side onto the casualty well done we saved jimmy now the reason why that's good for the casualty is they can see the whole boat coming but it's coming at nice and slow and then we can have two or three people there to pick up the casualty once the boat gets really closer here we start blocking the wind also the waves start to die down because it's all the waves and the wind is hitting this side of the boat and it makes it so much easier for the casualty to be picked up because the boat is also leaned over a little way this way because the freeboard will be less on this side than this side so we've been taught luckily we haven't had to do it and i never want to do it for real jimmy oh jimmy oh, jimmy so, so people will say well what happens if you're on a beam reach what happens is casualty goes over, the crew do exactly the same, but the sails will be further out because you're on a beam reach. All you need to do then is get the sails in nice and tight, then do two boat lengths, and then you will crash tack. And what you might have to do with this one is you might have to go a little bit further forward with the engine, not much, until you get into a position because you'll be coming at about a 45 degree angle towards the casualty and then you pick them up. What about going downwind? Downwind is probably the most difficult for this one. And what happens is casualty goes over, you immediately go into a beam reach, get the sails in. They'll be flapping about a bit but that's okay. Once you get the sails in, two boat lengths again, crash tack, goes it, the sails go into this side. This one I think you'll definitely have to do a little bit of motor forward but you're still coming at a 45 degree angle. And all it is is just a little bit of revs and then easing back. And so you're just going like this until it gets to the casualty. I know a lot of people will say coming up to the casualty from downwind and bowing because you're going nice and slow. Me knowing what it's like to go on a mooring ball, once I'm 12 feet away from the mooring ball, I can't see them. And a mooring ball is about five times the size of my head. And the last thing I want to be doing is the boat to be coming and donk me on the head because that'll put that'll put me definitely unconscious. Could even kill me. So that's the reason why we do on Britican on this way. And the great thing about this one is if we are just double-handed like Kim and I are a lot, is that if I go overboard or Kim goes overboard, we can do this single-handed. And that is the fantastic thing about it. Kim made a handy checklist uh, with more details on how we do it on Britican. Visit sailingbritican.com forward slash mob okay so i've got a bit of a story about the man over board procedure when i was doing my exams i learned this procedure on my day skippers and when i went to do my yacht master practical they wanted us to do the figure of eight but i decided to do this one and we had a bit of a discussion with the instructor after he'd done his it took about five minutes for us to get the casualty on board and when I did mine it was it was about two minutes and um, he goes right you failed you failed you failed and luckily the crew was around us were going well 
that was really really good and really much safer than the other one and he got quite animated with me and um, and I said well this is the new style that's coming out with and this is the way I'm going to do it on my boat he said I must admit it was really really good and so he goes I want to see it again and he put me in a much more difficult position but I still picked it up in less than three minutes he went okay you passed that part so that was good I thought I'd failed it but uh, so why did he say you failed you failed you failed well because we didn't do it the RYA way Okay, but it was an RYA instructor that taught you the heave to and drift way. Yes, it was, but there were two totally different instructors and examiners. So. Okay, so it depends on the examiner you're going to get? Was, yeah, it was for me, yes. The one I did in the heave to and drift was in Portugal, but he was an RYA guy. And the one in the UK, was he's still using the old school way. I still actually think that the RYA are still using the old way, which... A special thanks to Jimmy our fender for being our man overboard device and to the Baker family for their excellent retrieval skills. Do you have it all covered? Yeah, it's all covered. Okay. Alright, so we'll try and do this recording now without sunlight hitting you. Yeah, yeah. If you'd like to practice man overboard drills, learn more about sailing, anchoring, mooring balls, engine checks and more, Consider joining Simon, Sienna, and me on Britikin for a week-long live-aboard cruiser experience. Get the full details at sailingbritikin.com forward slash liveaboard dash experience.